Hi, my name's Phil. I want to tell you a bit about my journey to obtaining my private pilot's license. So, I never really wanted to fly, to be honest, but uh, I knew a couple of guys who passed their licenses uh, about 10 years ago. And so they took me up in their aeroplanes. Um, and since then, I've kind of been hooked and I always wanted to do it, but somehow I was always too busy or couldn't afford it or things like that. So, um, it was always there, out there, for me to do, but I never quite got round to it. Um, after the first lockdown, though, I decided that that was it. I was definitely going to do something about it. So I went up and had a chat with Almat um, about flying, uh, had a look at the planes and decided to sign up. Um, I had my first lesson in August 2020. Uh, that was in uh, the Cherokee Gulf Driver Alpha Hotel Foxtrot. Um, and after that, I knew that I really wanted to learn to fly. Um, I've passed my test in November now, so I've got all my lessons done. Uh, and I'm currently just check, getting checked out. And all the, well, actually, I've, I've finished getting checked out in all the other planes. So I've flown the, the Cessna 152 and, and the two 172s they've got there as well and, and checked out on those. So uh, currently, I'm planning to try and get some solo hours up flying those. Um, and then, yeah, maybe go for the Class 1 Medical uh, and start on the ATPL exams, um, uh, hopefully as well, and then get the commercial and, and multi-engine and, and uh, IFR as well. Um, I'm not really good actually helping me get my PPL, so I wasn't sure if I could commit the time to doing fast track uh, with work and, and things like that, but um, they did actually manage to fit me in. I, I got a lot more free time than I thought actually at work. Um, and I'm not really good because they managed to fit around me and somehow managed to find me the hours to get flying. And I actually ended up flying two or three hours a week. Um, the problem with that is I didn't always have the same instructor um, because obviously I wasn't on the fast tracks, but they always trying to fit me in. Um, and yeah, I, I did actually fly quite a few times a week uh, and it was really good. Um, trying to do my first solo, I think, was the most frustrating thing because I was coming up to being ready at the end of October and then obviously went back into lockdown. Um, so we had a, we had a month off in lockdown and then we came back and I had a few more lessons and I was just gearing up to go and solo again. And then we, <laughs> we went into lockdown again, so I couldn't do it again. Um, after the third lockdown, though, I actually managed to go solo towards the end of April and that was really good. Actually, it really felt like I was getting somewhere after I'd, I'd done my, my first solo. Um, once I got the solo, I actually managed to finish up quite quickly. Um, so all in all, it took about 12 months to pass. Uh, so, barring the lockdowns, it took about 12 months in total from start to finish, you know, to, to start uh, first flight to, to actually passing the test. Um, the easiest thing I found with flying was probably the navigation to be honest I've, I've always been good reading maps and and that kind of made sense um you know you you can kind of associate what you're seeing on the ground with what's on the map uh and i really enjoyed that to be honest and yeah the, the navigation stuff was good um the hardest part I, I don't i think everyone probably says this is is learning to land because you can't really you can't really teach people how to land <laughs> you, you you can kind of teach people the theory but putting into practice is actually really hard um and once you've cracked that though it's such an essential achievement once you can land the plane it, you know that that it really feels like you're kind of getting to grips with with the flying um my, if I could do it again, I would have definitely gone fast track. I think I, I didn't commit to fast track at the time, so I wasn't sure what my time commitments were. But I would definitely go for fast track again because you you have guaranteed lessons and you get the same instructor, and that makes it a lot easier to fly regularly. Um, I mean, Almat were really good at getting me hours in, but yeah, you don't always have the same instructor if you don't do that. And if you don't fly regularly, you'll find that you end up spending half the next lesson repeating what you've done in the first lesson really need to be doing two or three hours a week um so yeah i'll definitely do if you if you're serious about learning to fly and you want to do it quickly you need to be on the fast track um my first piece of advice uh for anyone starting to learn to fly is get your class two medical done um, just get that done as soon as you can because sometimes it can be a three or four month delay and if you haven't got that you can't go solo um and you don't want to be stuck 
just in the circuit waiting to get a class two medical before you can do anything else. So yeah, get your class two medical. Um, the second piece of advice is just get the theory exam started at the start. You, you don't want to punt them to the back of the queue. You want to get on those because actually there's nine exams to do and there's quite a lot of work. So you, you want to crack on with them because you can't, again, you can't go solo till you've done A-Law or comms. Um, so you need to get them in the bag ASAP if you want to go solo. Um, my first, third piece of advice would be just to kind of go and have a go and do it because, you know, it's easy to, to let life get in the way. You know, you're too busy and things like that. But if you want to learn to fly, you have to just give out that call, go up there and sign up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe.